Humans have used tools since the Stone Age. Today, our tools have improved a lot, but still have limited degrees of freedom, sensing, and importantly, no understanding of the task being performed. We introduced handheld robots that aim to combine sensing, actuation, and task knowledge to cooperate with users to solve tasks. Handheld robots bridge the gap between external and wearable robots. Handheld robots should be able to correct and enhance human motions, so need to have multiple degrees of freedom and be fast. We designed a light and compliant 4 degree of freedom cable driven manipulator to meet these requirements. This led to a novel pulley optimization and regression based inverse kinematics that allowed two motors to be removed from the base to reduce the robot's weight. This is a task where the user has to avoid touching a wire with a loop. The robot knows the position of the tool and the shape of the wire using motion capture. When the user moves the base of the robot, it calculates the optimal way to move the tip to avoid the wire. This is an example of a high-speed task where the user cooperates with the robot to catch balls. Here in slow motion, you can see the robot estimating the future trajectory of the ball and moving the net to intercept it. The aim of this paper is to understand and study the interaction between users and a cognitive handheld robot that has task knowledge. We looked at how the level of cognition affected performance on two generic tasks. For each of these tasks, we recorded the completion time, accuracy, and NASA task load index. The first experiment was a 3D pointing task, where the user had to use simulated paint to fill in a pattern quickly and accurately. In semi-autonomous mode, the robot actuates the tip position, but the user chooses when to spray the paint. In fully autonomous mode, the robot is in control of both the tip position and when paint is sprayed. These are examples of some of the trajectories from the painting task. As the level of automation increases, the user makes broader motions and allows the robot to fill in the fine detail. The second experiment was a generic pick and place task where the user had to arrange tiles in a specific pattern. The robot is aware of the progression through the task, so here you can see it refusing to pick up another black tile because it knows the correct tile should be red. For the painting task, Increasing the level of automation reduced the task completion time. For both tasks, we found that perceived user workloads decreased as automation was increased. We are exploring other ARM designs for different task specifications and also investigating feedback methods for robots to communicate more effectively with users, such as augmented reality.